Okay, so what we're going to do today is actually look at this demo that I've built, which is actually public um, in the Azure Samples GitHub repository. And you can see there's a red um, pipeline that failed. So we're going to look at it and fix it. I have a sense of what it might be, but I haven't looked at it into detail. And I'm just going to record myself doing this. It might take five seconds to fix. It might take five hours, hopefully somewhere in between. Um, okay. So the first thing to do is, of course, look at why it's red. I'm going to open it in a new window. This is um, this is the scheduled uh, run, which you know should run every night, just to know so so we know that it works. And the actually the init failed. Um, so this failed four times in the last thirteen uh, runs. Whoops. Um, and if we look at it, it can't get the list blobs. Okay, so this is not even going to be a Terraform issue um, or the pipeline itself. This is going to be um, an Azure thing. An Azure thing in the sense that I think the SAS token, which is used to um, access a storage account with a Terraform state file, probably expired. Um, what I'll do to check that is, so in my governance demo under pipelines there's a couple of things um you can see yeah a bunch of them haven't run for a while let's go into library which is where we store all the variables and all the secrets and as you can see i'm putting everything in key vault um and so this token expired um on new year's eve um and today we have monday i think the fourth Fourth? Yeah, I think the fourth. So it expired. So the first thing we need to do then is actually to get a new SAS token. Um, th to do that, I need to figure out where my storage account is. And this is also going to be in my um, key vault. I have too many accounts. Um, okay, let's go into this. And let's first go uh, to the repo for the hell of it. Oh, I think I know where it is. Um, okay. So um, storage account list uh, table. Okay. I have here a setup file. Uh, you can tell I've been messing with it. Um, let's see if this works. Create a, no, it's gonna need the storage account name, which we now know is called gov demo state. Get rid of this. Okay. Let's try this because I know it works. It's one week. Give me a token. Account name. I gave it an account name. There we go. Sorry. Okay, so that works um, for seven days. Let's do seven months. Okay, so now we have a token. And I'm going to change this in the key vault. Gov demo lib var key vault. I'm going to guess that this key vault is also in that other subscription. Um, no space. Okay, try again. Can't read this. Make it a table. Mm, Gov demo lib var key vault. Yep. Okay. Um, so in Chrome, I am actually logged into my Microsoft accounts. Um, all of this governance demo stuff is actually put in a different Azure subscription, um, not tied to any sort of Microsoft, Microsoft stuff. So I'm going to pull open Firefox. And so actually you'll see this is the project itself. Uh, let's go over here and this is the key vault. So let's go into the secrets. Yes. I'm actually going to do something in the, um, in the uh, portal instead. As you can see, I actually changed. Oh, I did change this. 
Or, oh, okay, it's recorded. Let me... What I don't like is, can I change that? So I do like putting um, this slash plane. Save, just so I know what it is. Okay, um, I know what threw me off now. I think if I come back to here, it said the 31st. Let me refresh. It says last refresh December 3rd. Um, let me do a browser refresh. And refresh here again which does absolutely nothing. Let's just check the browser console. Um, no, as far as I can tell, the button just is broken. Sad. Um, okay. Well, if I change the value, right? Because I updated it before I started this. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, let's come back here. And let's just run this again by hand. Let's see, run. Okay, so now we have to wait for an agent to be ready for it to run. Uh, while we're doing that, so, okay, I cheated. I technically did sort of check what was going on before I decided to record myself um, doing this. And I had already updated uh, the token, uh, apparently. So after this video, I'm actually going to reset everything um, in case this was um, recorded. So I'll have to do it again. Um, or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So now this is um, starting. I should, I should check when it does the drift, actually, which, um, which branch it uses. I just ran it against main, but I have a feeling that it's running it against the wrong branch. Nope, it's right. It runs against uh, main. Um, detect drift. Yeah, runs against main. OK, let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see init works um, because I've updated the SAS token, which expires. Um, if I come back here and check, this expires. Huh, that would not be good. Let's see. In a few days. So I guess that's what I put. No, this is um, American time format. This is June 1st, not uh, January 6th. Okay. All right. So coming back to here, it's trying to detect this. It looks okay. Actually, there's some things that are broken, but I will go through, um, talk about that in a little bit. And um, yeah. So drift status, when does this run? Uh, let's go back to the pipeline. I haven't looked at this in a long time. Drift status, which is the second job. Ah, it's the pull request. Okay, only this only runs if it's a pull request, right? Um, let's see, condition. Uh, yeah, it's a pull request. So actually this should just not run at all. So job and job is pending is actually wrong. It should never run. Um, this should now be green, yes. So it will never run, now it's green. Let's come back here and do a check. It still says failed. Let's refresh it. Huh. I guess I have to wait and see if tomorrow it uh, does it properly. Ah, it checks against the release branch, the scheduled. Does it really do that? Which pipeline that is. Detect drift, Terraform backend, main branch. Hmm. Whoops. A 
Okay, so I've scheduled it to actually um, only do drift against release. So let's try to get rid of that red badge again, because it's still red, by running it against the release branch. Uh, run as configured. Run. So now it's queued. Now we're going to wait. Yeah, so this is what CICD is often about, just watching screens go by. Okay. Yeah, it's done. So this ran against the release branch, only one stage, and it's green. So I'm hoping this will now turn green. Yes, finally. Okay, so now it's green, and it was just a matter of replacing a token. Kind of boring. Um, but yeah, so this is my first uh, watch me work, watch me code video. And with that, ciao!